Good morning, oil traders. It is the day after news day, October 19th at uh, 9.04 a.m. here on the East Coast. And uh, today we've got the movement that uh, we didn't get yesterday following the news. Um, and it's contrary because yesterday's news was bullish and yet we are down, um, well, almost, no, over a dollar um, from uh, yesterday's highs. So pretty significant. We're heading towards 51 basically um, and we could very well end up opening below 51 um, miraculously for us bears but uh, we'll, we'll see. Um, as you guys know I was prepared to sell um, my two shorts yesterday at a price of 51.70 so this is basically a gift as far as I'm concerned if I get to sell at these levels uh, which it at least appears that I will have that opportunity. Um, 51.40 was my sort of ambitious, greedy goal um, for yesterday, and it looks like I may get a chance to sell better than that even. Um, so I'll be looking to exit my 52.23 position and my 51.65 uh, short position, uh, and I will also be looking to purchase a small long hedge um, position to start to rebalance my portfolio once again. So if we take a look at my tradingjournal.ca account, um, you'll see that the portfolio is entirely within the bear um, end of the spectrum and I need to start kind of rebalancing this yet, yet again. Um, if we flip over to the results section, you'll see that I've taken profits from longs um, recently as well, um, but most, basically most recently I've only been purchasing shorts because basically we've just been moving up. Um, if we take a look at the last seven days, you can see that the trajectory is definitely upward trending um, until this very morning. So um, we're making lows that are new for kind of the second half of October right now. Um, as you can see here, going back to October 13th, we were um, at 51, and uh, I suspect at least that we might test that level today. Um, if we don't do so even before the trading session opens here on the East Coast. Um, so, yeah, so I'll be looking to buy a small long hedge position as well. Um, if we do crack below, then of course that's going to start to get negative, but my other shorts will become positive. Uh, my next short position after these two is at 5070. Um, I'd be surprised if we make it below that and turn that short into profit today, um, but you never know. If we do get to those sorts of levels, I'll be looking to add to the long position that I hope to purchase this morning at the open um, and go from there. And uh, if we make it to the mid-50s, then I'll be looking to exit that short likely as well. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Let me know what you guys think. Hit me up down below in the comments on YouTube or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio, performance, etc., etc. In the meantime, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll check back with you guys towards end of trading session today at or before 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Until then, good luck. Cheers.